Hi! In this video, we will be learning about Git conflicts in Asteris Enterprise and how to resolve them. A conflict arises in Git when two separate branches have made edits to the same line in a file or when a file has been deleted in one branch but edited in the other. In the Git functionality of Asteris Enterprise, a conflict can occur if two files of the same name are merged from two different branches or while pulling the branch from the remote. A conflict will occur if the files on the remote and the local have differences. Let us look at the following branches for our conflict and resolution use case. As you can see in the Git branches browser, we have two branches available. In branch 01, we have a data flow present by the name of Git data flow 01. In branch 02, we have a data flow present with the same name. However, the use cases of both flows are different. Now let's right click on the first branch and select merge into current branch from the context menu. Doing so will create a conflict between the branches and produce an error. As you can see in the Git Changes browser, a new node has appeared underneath staged and unstaged by the name of conflicted. To resolve a conflict in Git in Asteris Enterprise, right-click on the affected file in the conflicted node. The conflict has emerged because Git in Asteris Enterprise compared both files and found similarities in the name of the file. Firstly, you can preview each of the files in the two branches to compare them. If you expand the preview option, you can see two further options. Selecting the current option will preview the conflicting file in the current branch. Selecting the incoming, remote, option will preview the conflicting file in the second branch which is to be merged into the current branch. Secondly, you can expand the resolve option and two further options can be seen. Selecting the keep current, local, option will keep the conflicting file in the current branch and exclude the second one. Selecting the take incoming, remote, option will keep the conflicting file in the second branch and exclude the local one. When we are resolving a conflict, Asteris Enterprise compares both conflicting files and keeps whichever one we select as our application. At any time during this process, you can abort the merge simply by selecting the button at the bottom of the Git Changes browser. This will roll back the entire process to before the merge option selection. For our use case, we will keep the current branch file when resolving the conflict. The merge is not complete until a commit is made. Let's write a summary and commit. The two branches have successfully been merged. As you can see now, the file from the current branch remains after the merge is complete. This concludes our discussion on accessing and resolving conflicts in Git in Asteris Enterprise. For more information on Asteris Enterprise, please visit our documentation site. Thank you for watching this video.